Good evening, everybody. This is Gardening Warrior, and I just wanted to let you know that this year I am not only participating in the Three Rivers um, Challenge, but I am also going to record what I'm doing. <clears throat> in the past three, maybe four years, I have participated and I've done snippets here and there as I could. Um, but this year I'm going to just go gung-ho and get her done. Um, now why am I showing you this picture of this lovely lady right here? That is Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead. She is the one that hosts this challenge uh, every year, I think past three years before that it was just on Instagram which is actually where I stumbled upon her and her challenge was actually from Instagram somebody told me hey there's this woman that does this thing like you do and you should go check her out and sent me the link to her Instagram and that's how I found out about her and her challenge um this is not the only challenge she does throughout the year she also does the Every Bits Counts Challenge, which I have participated in in the past and tried to record as much as I could. Um, <clears throat> so, but in January and February, she does the Pantry Challenge, and the rules pretty much are up to you. Um, the objective, or, you know, baseline of what you know, the challenge is about, um, is that she tries to avoid going to the grocery store for two months. Um, now, like I said, the rules are you make up your own. Uh, <laughs> I, of course, live in an apartment, so I do not have dairy cows, nor do I have chickens. I'm fairly certain I would be homeless if I tried that. So, I am allotting myself $75 a month for eggs. Um, I do have powdered dairy products, so I'm not worried about that. I have plenty of that. Um, I sell Thrive Live, so I have plenty of that. Now, if you would like to follow along, all you have to do is put in hashtag Three Rivers Challenge. And I will put the link to her video, to Jess's video, um, so you can go check out, you know, what it's all about and everything, because um, she explains it way better than I do. Uh, <laughs> my rules are a little different um, than hers, because like I said, I don't have, you know, dairy cows and chickens. Uh, <laughs> so I have allotted myself the $75 a month to get fresh fruits. Um, I don't think I'll need vegetables. I'm good on that. I have done a inventory, a base inventory, so I know I'm good on vegetables. I'm fairly certain I've got enough meat. Um, what I've done just now is I've taken everything out of my refrigerator and I meal plan a little bit differently than most people. Let me show you. So, I only cook twice a week. Uh, <laughs> and I never cook between Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. So, that being said. Um, what I do is I will cook, um, usually Sunday, I will cook... A bunch of different meals or at least prepare a bunch of different food that can be made into meals um, like sides and stuff like that and then I write down what we have as we run out of stuff I cross it out um, like this right here we just ran we just ate all the broccoli casserole bites so that'll be changed this list right here Usually on Sundays, I go through and I <clears throat> um, update the menu, which is what this is. This is the menu. Um, and there are things on here like number six tells me it's peach pork roast. 
Mom, where's the pork roast? It's in the container marked with the number six. It still happens. Don't know why. Um, I just fixed a bunch of stuff because today is New Year's Day. So I did fix a few things. Um, if you want to see what I did there uh, for New Year's dinner using just what we already had. Um, I'll link the video down below for the New Year's dinner video. And um, then I'll go through and like we just finished a bunch of stuff off. And I just made a bunch of stuff, and we have little bits and pieces of things. So those will be sides. I'm about to make a bunch of Italian um, wraps, which is what that is right there. Um, I also am going to make some chicken wraps. That's what's right there. And we have sides, carrots. Um, mashed potatoes from dinner, all that needs to be put onto a new menu. And that's how I meal plan. I'll go through my inventory, which I keep a very extensive inventory, and I will make different things, or I'll ask the kids, hey, is there something special you want um, for this week, and I'll make those. So, but I have enough of everything to make the basic staples. They like meatballs and um, mac and cheese with different things in them. <laughs> so, and wraps, a lot of wraps. Um, <clears throat> and little hand pies and stuff like that. So, with the, that being said, um, there have been some changes. If you've been here for a while, um, I've always had a certain letter in my channel name. I have dropped that certain letter. Um, I had the letter Q in my channel name for years before it became, you know, scandalous and all that garbage. Uh, so, you know, all it meant was question, question everything. I teach my children, question everything you hear, you see. Research every day. Don't just take it at face value. That's what the cue was always about. Um, unfortunately, it's become a bit of a conspiracy, I guess. Um, and it seems to be causing problems with my YouTube channel. So I've dropped the cue and it's now just Garden Warrior. Um, so... <laughs> That's one big change. Uh, the second big change is that for right now, I will be doing mostly food, cooking, meal planning, um, meal preparations, how you can, for the longest time, I've had what's called a mealtime freedom um, series, and I'll put the link to all those videos because they are in a playlist. All nice, neat, and organized. Um, how to free up your time and meal plan and do freezer meals and things like that. Um, so I'll link that down below as well. Um, that's one big change that is coming. Um, well, it's not really a change. It's just I'm going to focus more on, on that. Um, now, I am in Shed Wars. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link to that down below as well. It has nothing to do with sheds. Um, <laughs> but I do not have... It's a, it's about gardening um, and homesteading. Uh, <laughs> if you're not aware. Because you can't just tell that from, you know, shed wars. What, what's that? How, how does this woman in a, you know, two-bedroom place have a shed? Well, it has nothing to do with sheds. Um... So, I'll put that down below as well. So, you know what that is. Uh, unfortunately, in the inland northwest where I live, I'm not really gardening right now. I am. I am gardening inside. I do have starts for sweet potatoes. I have potatoes in um, an 18-gallon storage container that are growing quite well. And I have a patch of sweet and 
mini sweet and hot peppers that I don't know what's what. They were all volunteers. It was kind of a happy accident. Um, so I do have those things growing. They're just not ready yet. Um, unfortunately, I did not start microgreens this year. Um, I'm not really sure why I didn't, but I didn't. Okay, so I didn't. Um, so I don't have lettuce. Um, and my daughter likes lettuce on her wraps. So we are going to have to, that's part of the $75 that we're going to do, um, is lettuce for the wraps and fresh fruit because I can't grow things like, say, bananas, which this is the only one left of 16 that I bought two days ago. Uh, <laughs> and it's probably still there because my kids don't like them once they get like that. That'll go in the freezer and we'll make banana bread out of it. It's all good. Um, so that's pretty much the changes so far. Um, not really changes, just switching from the gardening because right now is not gardening season for me here in the Inland Northwest, which really kind of stinks because I'm a third generation native of Central Florida. I'm used to growing year round, which is why I have potatoes and sweet potatoes and peppers growing in my house. Um, but we're going to focus right now on food prep and um, I'm going to take you along on my journey of um, my objective for my goals for doing the Three Rivers Challenge is literally to empty out two freezers and 22 buckets. Yes, I inventoried all 22 five-gallon buckets. And um, my home canned goods. Home canned goods. Yes, I am a canner. Um, <laughs> so, And I want to get rid of all of this food. I want to use it. Um, so we'll be doing that. And I will take you along on my journey of how I use all of my home canned things. I want all of these cans emptied by March. Um, April at the latest. Because I want to be able to fill them up again. Um, I'm also going to start learning some new skills and teaching my children new skills. Um, one of the new skills we're going to teach the children is bread making. Um, I've got a hand crate grain mill and I've got 33 pounds of different wheat berries and numerous amounts of different flowers, which I figured out when I inventoried everything and I'm like, oh... Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to be doing that, um, and I'll bring you along on that journey as well. Uh, this should be fun. Um, I also have a dear friend who sent me a sourdough starter, which I have not been able to get to as of yet because the holidays and we were sick with different stuff since August, and I did not want to start that while we were sick. We seem to be doing better. Lord. <laughs> um, so hopefully we'll stay better. And I also, I'm going to pull that out of the freezer, and I'd love to thank Maureen Washington. I'll put her link down below as well. She has two channels. She is a jazz singer, and she has a magnificent voice. But she also does bread baking. Um, and she was kind enough to send me a frozen dehydrated sourdough starter. Um, so it's in my freezer, staying, you know, in a sense of, I guess, stasis of some sort. And we're going to pull that out and we're going to start working with that and learning how to do that. And I'll be teaching the children that skill as well. Um, and so hopefully that will go better than the last eight attempts um, throughout the past few years. Uh, 
I don't know if I overfeed them or underfeed them, but for some reason they seem to do go very good and I'll use them once or twice and then they just kind of turn funky. So we're hoping not to kill or turn funky Maureen's lovely, wonderful gift that she sent me from Canada um, as a <clears throat> birthday gift. So... I'll see if I can find that video as well. But I think, oh yes, we're also going to be using the dehydrators that my children got last year for Christmas. This year was bread baking and cooking. Um, so we got a bunch of, of course, I said the hand grinder, um, hand mill, I, grain mill. Um, I also have, I used to work at a bakery, so I know how to do this. Uh, it, back when Publix in Florida actually <laughs> made their own bread and didn't have it made in a factory and sent to you. Um, I worked in a, an actual bakery. I also worked in a Winn-Dixie bakery in Florida. So I know how to prep the bread and bake the bread and all those things. I know how to do all that. Um, I, I just have to re-familiarize myself with such skills and then teach them to my children, which should be fun. It should be a, quite a hoot to do that. Um, so come along just for the uh, giggles, and I'm sure there will be plenty of giggles. Um, in fact, right now I'm envisioning exploding dough or something crazy. Um, so yes, we have dehydrators. We're going to learn how to use those, or the children are going to learn how to use this. Mommy knows how to use them just fine. And, um, that's where we're at right now. Those are the changes. I am going to get the children more involved, um, learning these skills. These are very important skills, uh, skills that our ancestors were Mennonites, and um, brethren, so um, I'm sure you're accustomed to the Mennonites and the Amish. Uh, if you're in the homesteading or <laughs> anything like that, you you know who the Mennonite and Amish um, are. I'm also going to start fermenting. I have a fermenting kit that I bought myself for Christmas. Um, and a fermenting book to actually walk me through it. Because sometimes I have to read things instead of just hearing them and watching them. Um, to actually get it to go right. I fermented things in the past and it went great. Um, but that was in Florida. And for some reason, I'm not really sure why. But my ferments haven't done as good up here in the in the northwest i'm not really sure why but anyways um <laughs> we're gonna relearn that skill and we'll be working with that um in fact one of the first things i plan on fermenting is brussels sprouts yes that's an inside joke someone gets that and um i will be teaching the children these skills as well so you get to learn along with the children so, I hope that caught you up as to some of the changes um, that are going on in the channel. I haven't been able to get done as much because, like I said, we've been dealing with ongoing sicknesses, upper respiratory, COVID, and whatever else this stuff is um, floating around here, uh, <laughs> since August, um, since school started, since, I think, like, the second day of school, um, taking turns, being sick, <laughs> bringing mommy home sickness, so hopefully we're all better now, and we've got that good herd immunity, I also have gotten some other things, um, to help with that, um, immune issue, so, I will see you in the next one tomorrow. Go check out the link down below for New Year's Day for the dinners. And I will be showing you tomorrow what I have done with all these goodies that I just pulled out of my fridge.
and what the meal plan looks like for the entire week because that's pretty much how I do it. I go by the week and then as things run out, I just replace them with another, you know, main dish or a side or what have you. Um, and that's how we work in this house because <laughs> nobody ever wants to eat the same thing at the same time. They want different things. So mama is not Burger King and we are not going to have it your way. You can have what's in the refrigerator or you can have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So y'all enjoy yourselves. I hope this helps somebody. And, um, again, if you are interested in finding out what the three rivers challenge is, I will put the link to Jess's channel down below. Um, a link for explaining what, what is this shed wars thing. And I think that was all the New Year's dinner. And I'll be making a separate video explaining my goals and my objectives and what I want to learn and what skills I want to teach my children and teach you as well um, in this at least one month. We're, we're going to definitely do January. We're working on February. I got to I got to look in my freezer about the protein situation because um, I canned a bunch of stuff, which is good because I have it canned, but I use some of it. So I just got to make sure that we have enough proteins to last through February. My plan is to continue through February, so hopefully we'll make that happen. Y'all have a great night. Bye.